Good morning everybody. Um, this vlog came out super unexpectedly because today is actually my last day in Paris and I wanted to document everything together with you. So what happened is that um, we're leaving tomorrow to a special destination. By the time you're watching this, you probably will know where we're going. And since today is my last day here, I thought it would be really cool to actually bring you with me and show you what I'm doing, running errands, kind of getting ready for the big holidays. I have a lot of things planned today and everything crammed in one day, like manicure, pedicure, running around, getting the last minute things, getting the sun lotion, hint, and all of that other stuff. Also, guess who is having their debut today? I thought that Q outside of Hermes are going to finish with Christmas, but no. And there's Q on both sides, usually, it goes all the way around the building. And the shop is not open yet, I believe. It opens in like 15 minutes. The first coffee of the day, actually, which for me is already too late for the first coffee. I just wanted to show you my outfit of the day. Like I said, I'm taking out for the first time my new Kelly. I've got a dress from and other stories. I will link actually everything below. And the first time ever, these boots that my friend Geraldine designed. I love them so much. They're by Ilya Esmeraldo. I think they're so cool, the heel is amazing. Now let's head out because we have a busy day ahead. Okay guys, first uh, stop is a bookshop, as you can see, I've taken you here before. The reason why this is the first stop is because that's the only way I won't buy too many books. Otherwise, I will go crazy and I will shop even when I'm not gonna read, but because books are heavy, I go there first, I buy what I really wanna buy, and that way I can keep going, you know? I'm sabotaging myself. Here is the book that I came for. It's called Untamed by Glenn Doyle. So this is a book that Xenia has recommended to me. Uh, first of all, she said I have to read it, that it will change my life. And for some reason it says, stop pleasing, start living. I don't know why, but a lot of people in my circle think that I do everything to please other people around me. So hopefully we can stop that soon. Then a lot of you have asked me if I read this. Let's see if it's too big to take on a trip. No, it's not. Okay, two books. I'm sorry, I just can't get out with only one. There is so much I want to buy that I have to get out immediately. We're now at Chanel Changing Rooms. This is my outfit, the boots. You've seen it already before. I have a few things that I would like to try. A few things that I would like to get before the trip, like summery things, because keep in mind, I don't actually have many summer clothing in Paris with me. So we're just gonna have to work with whatever I have. And this was very unexpected, so yeah. The lady also brought me some things to try on, like these two tops that I think are so beautiful. Like, look at this one. It's really sensational, but I mean, I don't know if you want to see the price. Guys, are you ready? It's a price of a Birkin, so not today. <laughs> Wearing a body, hopefully no one is going to get offended, but sometimes I'm so lazy that this is how I try on pieces. It's a body, it's the same as a swimming suit, just to say. Um, but this is really pretty, but I, look at the details. But I just don't think I would wear it enough, you know? Love it, though. Got home. Okay, it's a little bit not the best footage, but I wanted to show you this dress one more time. I think it's so comfortable, so flattering. As you can see, really, really love it. Not sponsored, just a genuine opinion. It's so comfy and so easy just to put on something like this and you're ready for the day. I have so much to deal with today that I cannot even tell you. I'm expecting a very important package with the things for the trip that I need. And also I need to go in an hour and a half to get my manicure done because like it's been a while and also pedicure, of course, then waxing, then packing at some point. Last night I thought it would be a wonderful idea to just take everything that's summary out of the other wardrobe. Dun, da, da, da. This is horror. Like horror, horror. Okay guys, I had around an hour at home. I made a to-do list of everything that I need to do, which includes like manicure, pedicure, um, waxing, eyebrows all of that stuff um, but also includes like finishing off some work stuff before I go because once I am there I don't want to think about any kind of administration also need to download some series for the plane and I also wanted to update you on kind of like how everything came together it was super spontaneous we were a group that were joking about traveling for a while and it was just a joke 
all of a sudden we we're like okay wait a second but we can kind of make it happen so yesterday at 8 a.m <laughs> my boyfriend and i went and queued up for two hours in the rain outside of the COVID clinic to make sure that we got all the tests and all the relevant information that we're healthy and ready to fly. So we did that. Then we had to do a travel insurance to make sure that everything is fine. So the whole group is doing a travel insurance. Then we were thinking, okay, so kind of everything's ready for the flight. We had, we made sure that there's a hotel. We called the hotel. We checked that it's um, got really high hygiene standards and that everything's fine, that it's not too full or anything like that. Then we were actually going to fly out on the 31st, but we would be spending uh, New Year's Eve in the car on our way to the hotel. So we decided to fly on the 30th, which was more complicated. Anyway, we're going for quite a while and you're going with me. Um, but since everything was so, so, so unexpected, I have to do all of those things today that I was going to do probably like over the next days. If you have any questions, let me know regarding the organization, the safety, the traveling. I'm very happy to respond to all of those questions to you guys, but I assure you that we have, all of us, taken all the responsibility that we could. And I'm actually so excited. So France has had the restaurants closed now for, I believe, two months exactly and I don't think ever in my life I had more than two months that I haven't been to a restaurant. Uh, long story short I'm super excited for the sun and for actually um, traveling. <laughs> Pedicure done, and now we're heading to manicure. Okay, guys, we're going upstairs to do the manicure now. I'm excited! Okay, I just got home. I'm not very happy with my nails, like clearing my vibe. So I'll update you on everything. I still need to pack. I'm starving. And I normally don't eat this late, but I think I have to eat because I'm going to die how hungry I am. Believe it or not, I started packing, but I need to unbox so many things and so show you so many things that I got for the trip that I'm gonna do that now. I was supposed to do a lot of things today, like pack, do all my beauty things, you know, like get ready, get more presentable for the trip tomorrow. So like for my to-do list that I've shown you, what I've done is like, I went for manicure, for pedicure, I've done waxing. Oh my God, I didn't do my eyebrows. I bought products, I've done the forms because we realized we also needed to do forms for Spain, so. We are flying tomorrow via Spain, so that's a little clue where we're going. Had a lot of things to do today, which resulted in it being 23.04, very late, and I still haven't packed or even done half of the things that I wanted to do for this vlog. There are some things in this bag over here that I want to unbox now because I need to pack them. This is nothing really, really, really major, but um, this all looks so beautiful. There's a lot of Chanel that I'm gonna unbox in this video, as you can see. So the first thing is a bikini top. Many of you, or some of you, <laughs> will remember that I have a one piece of the same exact print. It's kind of like um, a lot of different Chanel symbols and thingies and the reason why I decided to get this will become kind of more you know clear when I actually show you what's in the big box. Um, I'll put it on the pile of things that I need to pack. I have a lot of also basic basic black bottoms so I didn't even want to get the bottom. I actually they, they didn't even offer it to me because I just wanted a blue, blue tube. Um, but I have a lot of simple black bottoms that will perfectly go with that. Oh my god, this is amazing. Okay, are you ready? This is a scrunchie, but it kind of goes with, um, with a scarf. So this goes through here, like this. And then you tie your hair, for example, me right now. Then this goes like a really nice bow. I'll show you in a minute because this right now is just not working. Just to show you the print, I think it's super beautiful. It's like little boats and holiday destinations, planes. We are actually heading to this destination that I'll tell you about later. And it's going to be eight of us. We're a group of friends, none of which you know. It's going to be very <laughs> different and exciting. This is the thing number four. It's like a pareo, basically, as you can see. 
from Chanel. It's full of the symbols, as you can see, of the house, like number 31, the bag, the logo. This I can wear with a very, very simple plain black swimming suit or bikini, just like this around my hips. And I can even put my tiny little Chanel belt around the waist, which I think would be so cute. The last one, but I'm very shy that you're watching what I'm unboxing, is uh, another thing for the beach. It's like a Pareo situation. <laughs> okay, so here it is, but this one is blue. And I plan to wrap myself in it, and I think it's like very similar, 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 but now I'm very shy because I have someone watching me do this, so... Last thing, and then the big box, what I wanted to show you is in here, and I'm very excited because I've been waiting to unbox this. It arrived this morning, uh, arrived because I ordered it from abroad, and it's something really beautiful from the Lily Rose Depp campaign for Chanel, from their Cruise collection, I'm giving you like a lot of details about this. I have never seen it in real life. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It's a jacket from the Cruise Collection. It's black. Um, sort of like a wool material, like woven type. And it has this white stitching in the middle with a satin ribbon going all the way through down and big uh, CC Chanel buttons. When I saw this in the campaign, I was like, Obsessed. I will insert the picture now for you to see as well. And there was a top underneath it as well. What I saw was this jacket opened with like denim shorts and this crop top in the campaign. And I loved it. And I also would have loved to have the crop top too, but um, there was no crop top. So I just got this and then I will wear it with like a bikini underneath, like not to the beach, not, not the bikini to swim in, but like a, you know, like a black tube top and it will be the same. <sighs> now I have a lot of rubbish I need to start like I need to finish packing the hardest part to pack is going to be the beauty stuff because there's so much warm destination stuff to pack you know like hair stuff skin stuff blah 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 so because I'm running behind the schedule which is not ideal considering it's almost midnight and we leave early in the morning I need to keep going so okay situation is getting a little tiny bit better tiny bit better so they're going with me in my hand luggage has anyone <laughs> read it um let me know because i'm very curious uh, to hear your thoughts in sephora i went and bought these three for some bathing these are my favorite i know people always say like oh you know influencers get dior gifted blah 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 if i like something i buy it i do not care who gets what gifted the truth is, I have worked with Dior and I'm working with Dior continuously, but I really like this product, so I went and bought the SPF 50, 15 and After Sun. I also bought this for shower gel. It's just a really big shower gel. Uh, from Lancome, I purchased the Nutrix cream. This is honestly the best all-purpose cream you can imagine. It smells insane, it's very thick, very moisturizing, and I think I will need it. I will bring my Kerastase uh, sun protection for the hair, but I also decided to get these Bumble and Bumble Creme de Coco combo just because I love the scent of these, and they're amazing. I also got Bumble and Bumble the curl anti humidity gel oil. Uh, I suppose that they'll be humid and that I'm gonna be very curly. A few things that I run out of is the MAC Peaches um, blush and creme de nude lippy, a bronzer, a tart shape tape. I decided to try the Fenty Beauty liner, my Anastasia Beverly Hills soft brown. A brow thingy I ran out of and I also got in MAC a little present which is a uh, Work, 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 lippy. The dress that I bought, I'm sure you would not be interested in. It's like iodine for grazes, stuff at the pharmacy, like plasters, ibuprofen, paracetamol, uh, doxylamine, cetirizine, different purposes, antihistamines. Um, what else did I get? Homoplasmine. I got some emodium, like, you know, all the stuff that you might need if you go on a trip. What I'm really scared to pack and kind of half excited, half scared, half don't know what to tell you, is the beauty stuff. So I still have to pack beauty, underwear, swimwear, jewelry, makeup, and sun protection. Like I need to pack it, you know, it's all prepared. But... And that's just gonna be one big, big job. 
it looks like my boyfriend is not packing light either so it's not like he will put I will put a lot of my stuff in his suitcase I'm not sure if you guys are actually really that interested in this but I thought I'd show you so this is my niece vanity from Vuitton you guys know it I've shown it so many times I want to show you what's in here I've got my right lash at the back in here there's also like tiny scissor tweezer um, file and also two sheet masks from La Mer. I've got the SPF 50 from Balogique Recherche. Also from Balogique, I just purchased the new um, creme contour for eyes. Uh, Barbara Sturm Calming Serum, this is great for after sunbathing. Then I have my Consense Multivitamin Serum, as you can see. I have La Mer Cream, this is amazing, especially when my skin is a little bit inflamed. Then I have my Lotion P50W, I'm not going to be using this all the time as much as I do because I will be exposed to sun, but I still like to use it. I will just use it every other day when exposed to sun. Emulsion Original Regenerate, my serums, which you already know what they are. This, I forgot to tell you, it's the Clinique Take Today Off Cleansing Oil. Um, I need my toothbrush, toothpaste, floss, deodorant, and I think the beauty bag is kind of coming to an end. I pack my shampoos separately. Truth be told, I don't normally pack uh, a lot of masks when I go on holiday, but I love this one. This is Clarifying Brighten Face Mask uh, by Nourish. This is insanely good. I need this. Ooh, I will definitely need this. Several hours later, I'm not showing you my face because honestly, you don't want to see it. Luggage is ready, hand luggage is ready. Bag, like this travel bag has proven to be so amazing. Laptop charging, because I'll need it. I also need to bring the other laptop, at least for the flight, but also because we're staying quite a while. I don't know why, but I'm beyond exhausted. The truth be told, I'm actually not someone that like really enjoys like doing all those like beauty treatments, like manicures, pedicures, blah, blah, blah. Like I need to have all of that done, but if I could drop off my body in a beauty salon and say like, okay, can you like wax it and do my nails and feet and stuff and then I'll come back later when it's done, that would be my dream, but unfortunately it's not possible. So mostly packed now. I am um, going to wash my face now, moisturize and get ready to sleep in the morning. I'll show you my travel out and all that stuff. Good morning, everybody. Today is the day. Woke up early, 6.30. Very, very, very sleepy, but it's okay. I will make it up on the plane, right? What you missed last night is that I did a little at-home eyebrow lamination. So my eyebrows are very, like, if you lift them, they just stay. They're straight. I wanted them to be very easy and manageable for the holidays. So I did my own eyebrow lamination thing. It just took 20 minutes. And honestly, I love doing whatever beauty treatments I can do myself at home. I love doing rather than going to salons. So maybe I shouldn't Really include it but maybe I will include a screenshot of me last night doing it just because it's ridiculous. This morning I'm gonna get dressed ready for the trip. We need to leave in 20 minutes. All good. All is set. We're all packed already and it's just the little things left to do. Actually you know what I just realized now that I said I love doing all the beauty treatments myself rather than going anywhere. Like well of course I love going to places like a massage and hairdresser and things that I don't think I'm very good at but most beauty treatments, even the more sophisticated ones, I like doing myself. And I realized that is why I just started my blog 10 years ago. I started it because I wanted to show you how I do my beauty at home. I wanted to show you how everybody can do the treatments at home, what you can do and how I do it and share that with the world. I'm glad that that kind of stayed the same in a way. Okay, now let's get dressed and we need to go. them now because we've been traveling for one day and we still have five hours driving. I will explain hopefully when we get to the hotel. Girls, how do you feel one from ten after this 24 hour travel? Yeah. It's more than 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> one to ten, come on, quick. The one. One? Okay. Three. Three? I'm three as well. It's 2 a.m. here. It is 9 a.m. in Paris and we just arrived in Costa Rica. 
in our rooms felt great from the flight everything was like perfect even though we took two flights so what i didn't fill you in is that we took a flight from paris to madrid then we had a three hour layover then we took a flight from madrid to san jose which is 11 hour flight so it was like two hours then three and a half hour layover then 11 hour flight and then <laughs> the hard part was the ride the car ride through the jungle which was four and a half hours obviously it was already like really late at night so we were all so exhausted it was so fun we want to go to sleep we ordered some room service as well like all of us so we're gonna go upstairs and eat and kind of make plans for tomorrow to like rest and sleep but i really want to put this video to upload like it's not really much but we're in costa rica i'm very very happy to be here it's my second time i visited before and i'm super happy to be back i will update you more but this is the last video for the year so i just want to wish you all a beautiful New Year's Eve, no matter what you're doing, just wishing you a lot of health, happiness, and love in 2021. Bye, guys.